let's do a very interesting sum. This is going to be exciting. It says that in the figure, there's a figure given here. In the figure given below, we have ray BA parallel to ray QP and we have ray BC parallel to ray QR. So there are two pairs of parallel lines given to us. And they say that show that angle ABC and angle PQR are supplementary angles. Now when we say angle ABC, we are talking about this angle and angle PQR is this angle. We need to prove that they are supplementary angles. Now when we say supplementary angles, we know that the sum has to be equal to 180 degree. That means we are saying here, we need to prove angle ABC plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. That's the proof which we need to do. That means we will get supplementary if you prove this, right? want this now we are going to use the information which is given right we have two pairs of parallel lines AB and PQ BC and QR now we know that in any sum when we have parallel lines we can make use of it provided we have a transversal so let's see how we can get a transversal from the existing figure if you consider this BC and QR BC and QR they are parallel to each other now if I extend this QP this can act as a transversal right observe so we have got these two lines which are parallel and qp acts as a transversal because if you extend it it is intersecting now these two lines at distinct points so now we know that for line bc and qr which are parallel lines this qd is a transversal so that's a construction which you have done so we need to write the construction here we have done is extended this ray qp to intersect this ray bc at point d such that it is b dash d dash c that's the construction which you have done. So construction is clear. You understood why? Because we wanted a transversal for the parallel lines. Now it's going to be a beautiful and a very simple sum. Now let's start with the proof. Let's use a given. It says that we know that AB and this QP, in other words, it is nothing but QD. They are parallel to each other, isn't it? So we have this line and this line, there is QD, they are parallel to each other. And for these two parallel lines, we have BC as a transversal, isn't it? And if these two lines are parallel, right, and if BC is a transversal, you can see a pair of angle which I'm highlighting. Observe that angle ABC because we are talking about angle ABC somewhere. We need to talk about the angle ABC and look at this angle QDC. What can you say about them? Yes, you are very correct. It's a pair of corresponding angles. And when lines are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. That means we can write angle ABC is congruent to angle QDC. And that is what we get. And that's the result number one. What's that easy? Very simple, right? Reason is corresponding angle theorem. Okay, so we got something from the given information. So we use these two parallel lines. Now there's one more pair of parallel lines which we can use. Let's use that. You know that BC and qr they are parallel let's use that and for these two parallel lines we know this qc is a transversal so we write observe when we took the first set of parallel lines we got a b d and this angle right now we have taken this set of parallel lines and we are taking this as a transversal so look at this angle which we have here that is angle qdc and look at this angle that is angle dqr and tell me what type of angle is that? What pair of angle is that? It's a pair of interior angles. And when lines are parallel, what do we know about interior angles? We know that when lines are parallel, interior angles are supplementary. That means we know that the measure of this angle QDC plus measure of that angle DQR is equal to 180 degree. Beautiful. And we know the reason for that. That is nothing but interior angle theorem. Beautiful. You know what? The exciting part of it. We wanted 180 degree in the sum. We got 180 degree. Wow, something we got, right? But we want angle ABC plus angle PQR equal to 1. Now let's see, we can get it one by one. Look at the first angle which we have. We have QDC. But what we want is angle ABC. Now, is there any relation between QDC and ABC? Look at the result number one which we got. Observe that very Yes, angle QDC is equal to ABC. So that means now this QDC can be replaced with angle ABC. Replace it. Yes, you got that. Plus, now, angle DQR, we don't want angle DQR, we want PQR, but look at the figure. Angle DQR and angle PQR, they're one and the same because D, P and Q are collinear. So, change the name and write it as PQR as you want. That is equal to 180 degree and the reason is D dash, P dash, Q, right? And that QDC instead of ABC we wrote, that is from 1. So now, look at what we got. We got angle ABC plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. Means what? 
that means we are saying that these two angles are supplementary angles beautiful and we write that that angle abc and angle pqr 